This is the Sakar Merli of the 20th of June 2024. Essence Sweet children, do not waste your time chasing after a handful of chickpeas, that is, things of little value. Now become the Father's helpers and glorify the Father's name. And here in brackets it says, especially for the Kumaris. Question. What are the signs of you moving forward on this path of knowledge? Answer. The children who constantly remember the land of peace and the land of happiness and whose intellects do not wander anywhere at the time of remembrance. Those whose intellects don't have wasteful thoughts, whose intellects are concentrated, who don't nod off and whose mercury of happiness is high, prove that they are moving forward on this path of knowledge. Om Shanti You children have been sitting here for so long. It enters your hearts that it is as though you are sitting in Shivale, the temple of Shiva. You remember Shiv Baba and you also remember heaven. Only by having remembrance do you receive happiness. Even if your intellects remember that you are sitting in Shivale, you will be happy. Eventually you all have to go to Shivale. No one is going to sit permanently in the land of peace. In fact, the land of peace is called Shivale, and the land of happiness is also called Shivale. Both are established by the Father. You children have to remember both of them. That Shivale is for peace and the other Shivalay is for happiness. This is the land of sorrow. You are now sitting at the confluence age. You must not remember anything except the land of peace and the land of happiness. No matter where you may be sitting, even if you are at your business, your intellect should remember both Shivalays. You have to forget the land of sorrow. You children know that this brothel, this land of sorrow, is now to end. You children should not nod off while sitting here. The intellects of many children wander off in other directions. There are the obstacles of Maya. The father repeatedly tells you children, children, man, man above. He also tells you various tactics. While you are sitting here, make your intellects remember that you will first go to Shivale, the land of peace, and that you will then go to the land of happiness. By remembering this, your sins will continue to be cut away. The more you stay in remembrance, the more you will move forward. You should not sit here with any other thoughts. Otherwise, you would be causing a loss for others. Instead of benefiting them, you would be causing them a loss. Previously, when you were made to sit in meditation, someone was made to sit in front of you to check who were nodding off and who were sitting with their eyes closed. Therefore, you remained very cautious. The father also used to see whether your intellect's yoga was wandering anywhere or if you were nodding off. Many come here and don't understand anything. Brahmin teachers bring them. Very good children should be in front of Shiv Baba so that they don't create the wrong impression because that one is not an ordinary teacher. The father sits here and teaches you. You should sit here with great caution. 
Baba makes you sit in silence for 15 minutes, but you sit for an hour to two hours. Not everyone is a Maharati. Those who are weak have to be cautioned. By being cautioned, they will become alert and careful. It is as though those who don't stay in remembrance but simply continue to have waste thoughts are creating obstacles because their intellects keep wandering somewhere or other. All the elephant riders, horse soldiers and foot soldiers are sitting here. Baba has come here today having churned the ocean of knowledge. The models of Chivalet, the brothel and the most auspicious confluence age, all three that you children show at the museums and exhibitions, they are a very good way to explain this to people. You should make very big ones. You should get the biggest and best holes for them so that this quickly sits in their intellects. You children should think about these things and think about how to improve them. You should make the most auspicious confluence age very good. People can receive a very good understanding through that. You show five to six people sitting in Tapasya. But no, you should show ten to fifteen people sitting in Tapasya. You should make very big pictures and write in very clear writing. You explain so much, yet people don't really understand. You make effort to explain, but they have stone intellects. As much as possible, you should explain very clearly. Those who remain engaged in doing service should think about how to increase service. There isn't as much pleasure in explaining using the projector and exhibitions as there is when explaining at museums. They don't understand anything through the projectors. Best of all is the museum, even though it may be small. In one room there should be the scenes of Chivalet, the brothel and the most auspicious confluence age. A very broad and unlimited intellect is needed to explain this. The unlimited father and the unlimited teacher has come. But he is not just going to sit down thinking that the children should pass their MA or BA. The father is not just going to remain seated here. He will leave in a short time. There is little time left and people still don't awaken. Those who are good daughters would say, why should I waste my time for just these 400 to 500 rupees. What status would I then claim in Chivalet? Baba sees that the Kumaris are free. No matter how high a salary you receive, it is just like a handful of chickpeas. All of that is going to end. Nothing will remain. The Father has now come to make you give up the handful of chickpeas. However, some don't let it go at all. There you receive a handful of chickpeas, whereas here you receive the sovereignty of the world. Those are just chickpeas worth a few pennies. So why do you distress yourselves chasing after them? Kumaris are free. Those studies are only worth a few pennies. If you stop those studies and continue to study this study, your intellects can open. Little daughters should sit and give this knowledge to the older ones and explain that the father has come to establish Chivalet. You know that everything here is going to turn to dust. 
You won't even have those chickpeas in your fortune. Some might have five chickpeas, that is, 500,000 rupees in their hands, but that too would be destroyed. There is now very little time left. Day by day, conditions are getting worse. Suddenly there are calamities. Death takes place suddenly. Even while holding chickpeas in their fists, they leave their bodies. So people have to be liberated from this monkey-like behaviour. Don't become happy on just seeing the museum. You have to show wonders. People have to be reformed. The Father is giving you children the sovereignty of the world. However, some won't even have chickpeas in their fortune. Everything will be destroyed. Instead, why not claim the sovereignty from the Father? There isn't any difficulty in this. You simply have to remember the Father and spin the discus of self-realisation. You have to empty your fists of chickpeas and fill them with diamonds and jewels and return home. The father explains, Sweet children, why do you waste your time chasing after a handful of chickpeas? Yes, if someone is old and has many children, he has to look after them. It is very easy for Kumaris. When anyone comes, just explain to them that the Father is giving us this sovereignty. So you should claim the sovereignty. Your fists are now becoming full of diamonds. Everything else is going to be destroyed. The Father explains, you have been committing sin for 63 births. Another sin is of defaming the Father and the deities. You became vicious and you also insulted the Father. You insulted the Father so much. The Father sits here and explains to you children, Children, do not waste your time. Do not say, Baba, I cannot stay in remembrance. Say, Baba, I am unable to remember myself as a soul. I forget myself. To become body conscious means to forget yourself. If you are unable to remember yourself as a soul, how would you be able to remember the Father? The destination is very high. This is very easy. But yes, there is also opposition from Maya. Although people study the Gita, etc., they don't understand the meaning of it at all. The main scripture of Bharat is the Gita. Each religion has its own scripture. None of those who establish a religion can be called the Satguru. That is a big mistake. There is only one Satguru, but there are many who call themselves gurus. If someone teaches the work of a carpenter or an engineer, he too is a guru. Anyone who teaches something is a guru, but there is just the one Satguru. You have now found the Satguru. He is also the true father and the true teacher. This is why you children should not be careless. You leave here having become very well refreshed, but you forget everything as soon as you arrive home. A lot of punishment is received in the jail of a womb. There, a womb is a palace. There are no sinful acts performed that one would have to experience punishment. Here, in Madhavan, 
You children understand that you are personally studying with the Father. Outside at your home you would not say the same. There you would understand that your brother is teaching you. You have to come here directly in front of the Father. The Father explains to you children very well. There is a difference between the way the Father explains and the way you children explain. The Father sits here and cautions you children. He says, child, child, and explains to you. You understand Shivale, the temple of Shiva, and the brothel, Vashile. It is a matter of the unlimited. Show this clearly so that people can enjoy it. There you explain in a light manner, but you have to explain to them seriously so that they can understand it very clearly. Have mercy for yourselves. Are you just going to stay in this brothel? Baba has thoughts about how to explain. Children make so much effort, yet it is as though nothing sinks in. They continue to say, yes, yes, it's very good, and you should explain this also in the villages, although they don't understand anything themselves. Wealthy people with a lot of money will not understand. They will not pay any attention to this at all. They will come at the end, but it will be then too late. Neither will their wealth be useful, nor will they be able to stay in yoga. However, yes, if they listen to this, they will become part of the subjects. The poor can claim a very high status. What do you Kumaris have? A Kumari is said to be poor because it is the sons who receive their father's inheritance. But yes, after a Kumari is given away, she indulges in vice. They say, get married and I will then give you money. If you want to remain pure, you won't get a single penny. Look at their attitude. You must not be afraid of anyone. You should explain everything openly. You should be very active. You are telling the complete truth. This is the confluence age. On that side is a handful of chickpeas and on this side is a handful of diamonds. From being like a monkey, you are now becoming worthy of being in a temple. You should make effort and claim a birth like a diamond. Your faces should be like that of a courageous lioness. Some people's faces are like timid goats. They would be afraid of even a little sound. The father cautions all of you children. Kumaris should not become trapped. If you become trapped in bondages, you will be beaten for vice. If you imbibe this knowledge well, you will become empresses of the world. The Father says, I have come to give you the sovereignty of the world. However, this is not in the fortune of some. The Father is the Lord of the poor. Kumaris are poor. When parents are unable to get their daughter married, they give her away. So Kumari should be very intoxicated. I should study well and claim a good status. Good students pay attention to their studies so that they can pass with honours. They are the ones who then receive a scholarship. The more effort you make, the higher status you will receive, and that too will be for 21 births. Here there is temporary happiness. Today you receive a status, but if you die the next day, everything is finished. There is a difference between yogis and bogies. 
that is, those who indulge in sensual pleasure. The Father says, pay greater attention to the poor. Scarcely any wealthy ones will take this up. They simply say, this is very good. This organisation is very good and it will benefit many people. They don't benefit themselves at all. They say that this is very good, but as soon as they go outside, everything is over. Maya is sitting with a stick and makes them lose all enthusiasm. By slapping them just once, she makes them lose all their wisdom. The father explains, look what the condition of Barrett has become. You children have understood the drama very well, Acha. To the sweetest beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada. The spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father. Essence Vedana 1. Let go of the handful of chickpeas and make full effort to claim the sovereignty of the world from the Father. Do not be afraid of anything. Become fearless and remain free from bondage. Use your time in a worthwhile way in earning a true income. Two, forget this land of sorrow and remember Chivalet, that is, the land of peace and the land of happiness. Recognise the obstacles of Maya and remain cautious of them. Blessing, may you become a conqueror of attachment and an embodiment of remembrance by studying and teaching the lessons of the Gita. The first lesson of the knowledge of the Gita is become a bodiless soul. The final lesson is become a conqueror of attachment and an embodiment of remembrance. The first lesson is the method and the final lesson is the result of the method. So first of all, study these lessons yourself at every moment and then teach them to others. Perform such elevated actions that on seeing you perform elevated actions, all souls will perform elevated actions and be able to make their line of fortune elevated. Slogan Stay merged in God's love and you will be liberated from having to work hard. Om Shanti